Hello gamers, it is Larson here, and today I want to tell you why your forecast channel might not be working. Now, if you've seen the thumbnail, you're probably like, yeah, it's because there's an update for the forecast channel. Yes, I know. Well, yes, sort of, but of course there's an update because it tells you right there, but I want to explain what's going on for the Wii U users. So basically, I don't know why Wheeling did this because I'm not involved with their decision making anymore. Um, but they just decided to cut off anyone who is using the Reconnect 24 version of the Forecast Channel in favor of the Wii Link one. And because their goal was to implement new custom cities for the map to further improve the list of cities because they thought the list of cities that the Forecast Channel used weren't awesome. They felt like they could do a lot nicer job. So basically, for whatever reason, they just decided to cut off the art, the version we made that um that had the um that tried to be closest to Nintendo as possible and decided to bring in their own list of cities. But for a problem is that in the US, I know for a fact that they had to make a patch for the forecast channel because the list of cities is so big that it actually um exceeds the file size limit of the forecast channel. So someone on the team made a patch and this is why you have to repatch it. It is annoying for me to see this though, because I know that there's a, probably several thousand people who installed the forecast channel on their Wii. Um, and, and have to go and get a computer to set this up, to download a new version of the patch or whatever. And I kind of hate that because there's people out there who probably don't have access to a computer, their friends set it up or whatever. So. If you're one of those people, I'm sorry that they had to put that on you. Um, now let me tell you another thing that's happening. Apparently, I don't know why, but I've, I, I, even though I'm done with Reconnect 24, I've said that many, many, many times, but I still access the Reddit and I still, um, look at what people are saying. And so lately they've been saying that we, you users, assumedly, have been getting a different message that doesn't say this. And it says, I haven't heard anything, one say anything about the this message, but it says like the Wii Connect 24 service is unavailable. Um, please try again later or whatever. But I think that's because I'm not sure if it's the case, but I think that maybe um, they broke the, um, the message that it gives for um, Wii U users. So, you either will get this message or just a message like that because I also think that it might be because the forecast channel was repatched to give a different, um, to just tell you to go to the false instructions on how to set up preloader on your device because now the channels work by applying a patch to preloader, which works on the Wii U now. So I guess that message might have got truncated or whatever. The people that are cut off and haven't updated yet will not be getting this message. So anyway, so either way, you'll have to get the Wii Link patch. Or if you have a computer, hopefully you're not one of the few that has the Chromebook or the Android lying around um, and doesn't have access to a computer with Mac, Linux, Windows. I should have said Windows first, but whatever. Um, you're probably going to be the ones that you should just run the patch in. Wii Link has changed so much of their wads. Like for example, the Domain channel has some patches changed. For example, they fixed the banner that was annoying me. Some of the text appeared smaller than the actual other text in the logo because it was rushed out. Um, or um, some other things. I think maybe if you use the Nintendo channel, you would have to make an update. They renamed the Digicam print channel to the Photo Prints channel for whatever reason. And there might be patches to Wii Noma, AKA Wii Room. So, I mean, if you have access to a computer, you should definitely run the Wii Link Patcher and maybe follow Wii Link's guide. You'll easily find it on their website um, to set that up because um, they've made so many changes and it'll just be good to get up to date. It does not install the additional wads though. It does not make patches like the Today and Tomorrow channel, Internet channel, um, only the other two. Um, Photo channel and um, what's the other one? We speak channel. That's what it was. Um, they're not. They haven't added that support to the patcher yet. And reconnect twenty four patcher is like, it's 
I am sorry, KCRPL. The, you made the patch, but I'm going to say it's absolute torture and it's not up to date. It will not give you the updated copy of the forecast channel. It's, <laughs> it used to be, we used to make a lot of jokes about it because it's like, it's like 9,000 lines of batch, Windows batch. And that's why it wasn't so easy to port on Linux and whatever. So it's like, it's a monstrosity of code. It looks like a robot wrote it. Anyway, we appreciate his efforts and many people have used it over the years. Some have had emailed us saying that there's problems. And by the way, I had to get rid of the support email. No one wanted it. And I really wanted to get it off my hands. Um, so yeah, that's about what's happening. Oh, by the way, I'll probably make another video on this when it's fixed, but someone um, is trying to get Discross working again. So basically the issue with Discross is that um, it's the site that lets you use Discord on any device that supports a browser. So the problem is that it had a huge bottleneck with a code and it would take forever to load a list of servers because it would check if you're a member of each one. So we need to use OAuth to, to get a list of servers you're in. If that's some sort of like thing where you can authorize um, Discord on any or whatever platform on any platform that you want to link it to and do stuff with it. So basically that was a huge bottleneck of the code of Michael MJD made a video on it and I tried my best to make it so it would accommodate to the mass amount of servers it was being added to. I think currently it's in like 2000 servers. So I've been trying to hand it off to someone else because I don't even want to work on it anymore. I um They just asked me why I was it down and it was working so poorly. And so it never recovered after MJD made a video. He I like M Michael MJD, but I don't think he intended for it to cause like the you know, the breakage of code that it did. But anyway, if they don't get it figured out, we'll ask someone else to do it. They're having a little bit of trouble working on it, but they really want to take it off my hands and improve it. So I'll keep in touch with them. And when we have that working, I'll make a video on it. And that's about all I wanted to say. Um, so Discross isn't dead, it's just down right now until we can redirect it to his servers when it's working. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say, bye.